7 Terrifying Things Found in Swamps There's something mysterious about swamps. These forested wetlands have an almost magical air that invoke images of witches casting spells in the rain, stumbling monsters rising from the mud, and lost adventurers taking one wrong turn too many and losing their lives to the swamp's hunger. They are so big, so labyrinthian, who knows what they may contain. From a huge gator to a graveyard for dolls, these are 7 terrifying things found in swamps. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. With that being said, let's begin. Huh? Hmm. Number 7. Colossal Gator Many works of horror and or science fiction explore the concept of swamp monsters. Swamp Thing from DC Comics is what propelled future Watchmen co-creator Alan Moore to megastardom, and Marvel's equivalent man, Thing, was satirical brilliance from Steve Gerber. Be it the bunyip of Aboriginal mythology, the Lernaean Hydra of Greek mythology, or the Honey Island Swamp Monster of Louisiana, the idea of man-like swamp creatures dwelling in the mud has long captured the imagination of monster fanatics the world over. But we all know the true monsters of the swamp are gators. It should come as a surprise to no one that gators are found in swamps on a pretty regular basis. But what's so impressive about this gator is that it's large enough to actually be considered a swamp monster, up there with the bunyip or lernaean. At 15 feet, this thing is so big that if swamp monsters were real, this thing would probably scare them. This gargantuan beast, this mini Godzilla weighed 1,011 and a half pounds. It was captured August 2015 by five members of the Stokes family in Mill Creek. That's right, it took five of them to wrestle this thing. Do you think you could have handled it? The alligator was 24 to 28 years old, which was determined from an analysis of its leg bone and is officially the largest American alligator ever caught. Let's move on to the star topic. Now, what do we have here? So a guy was walking around the swamp to take a few pictures here and there, when suddenly he came across this creepy and mysterious creature. What in the world is that? The man was able to take a few pictures before actually getting out of the swamp. I mean, I would have gotten out of there the first second of coming across that thing. What do you think this could be? Some sort of swamp monster? Comment down below with the hashtag star topic, and we will pin the comment that best explains what's being shown in this image. With that said, let's get on to the next topic. Number 6. Swamp Ghost Sadly, not an actual ghost, but creepy all the same. No, the thing the press calls the Swamp Ghost is, in reality, a place. Months after the Pearl Harbor attack in 1941, US bombers raided the Japanese at Simpson Harbor, Papua New Guinea. One plane made a second run after its bomb bay malfunctioned. Even though it worked the second time, a hot fight ensued between her crew and the enemy. The Flying Fortress managed not to explode in a spectacular fashion, but she never made it back to base. Badly whipped, she belly landed in a deep swamp. Her crew stumbled to safety a few days later, bringing with them a tale of survival and a fresh dose of malaria. The Warbird was only rediscovered in 1972, and its haunting appearance quickly earned her the name Swamp Ghost. Roughly three more decades would pass before conservation efforts freed the bomber in 2006. Today, Swamp Ghost enjoys a much better home at the Pacific Aviation Museum at Pearl Harbor. Number 5. Wooden Barrel of Mystery Slime a wooden barrel full of mystery slime hasn't just been found in a swamp, it's been found in a swamp several times. In swamps across Europe, people keep finding barrels full of a strange greasy substance that has come to be nicknamed bog butter. Nobody could figure out what it was. It was incredibly strange and deeply unsettling. If it had been found as is, people wouldn't have been so scared. But what they found troubling was the way in which it was stored inside little wooden barrels. Perhaps each barrel contained the melted remains of someone who had, sometime in the distant past, been killed in the most brutal fashion, and then had the barrel that contained their sloshy remains been submerged into swamp water? As it would turn out, no. As it would turn out, the nickname was far closer to the truth than anyone could have realized. This ancient waxy substance, found buried in the peat bogs of Ireland and Great Britain, actually was butter. It seemed the people of the past really liked to bury little barrels of butter in swamps. Look, it's easy to judge, but the people of a million years in the future will probably look back at us and think Twitter is weird, so people will do what they do. The original motivations behind the creation of bog butter are unclear. One widespread theory is that food products were buried in peat bogs to hinder spoilage. Peat bogs, being low in temperature, low oxygen, highly acidic environments, have excellent preservative properties. Experiments conducted by researcher Daniel C. Fisher 
demonstrated that pathogen and bacterial counts of meat buried in peat bogs for up to two years were comparable to levels found in control samples stored in a modern freezer, suggesting that this could be an effective preservation method. An alternative hypothesis is primitive food processing. It is possible that chemical reactions in the soil helped to transform the foods to more palatable products that could be made fresh, especially given the absence of salt in bog butters or increase available nutrient content. Or they were just weird. Number four, the hidden community. The Great Dismal Swamp of Virginia and North Carolina was once runaway central. Fleeing Native Americans, wanted whites, and escaped slaves saw freedom inside the near inaccessible environment. They received it for 10 generations. At one point, they numbered in their thousands. Then the elusive inhabitants of the swamp just disappeared. Artifacts show they were self-sufficient and innovative, building cabins, weapons and tools, and even clay pipes. They honored chiefs and followed Africanized religion. One dismal swamp maroon called Charlie was later tracked down in Canada. He added that labor was communal and described how they made their own furniture and musical instruments. Why they vanished remains unclear. All archeological evidence to the survivor community ends after the Civil War. One theory suggests that after the war, they blended back into society as free people. It's terrifying to think that an entire community could vanish without a trace in an instant. What happened to them? Were they swallowed up by the swamp? Did a gator get them? Did they fall victim to an actual, real-life swamp monster? What do you think? There's no clear answer, and that's what's frightening. Number three, remnants of a battle. In a moment like something out of a Robert Kirkman and Charlie Adler comic, a human arm was found sticking out of a riverbank. Soon, more human remains were unearthed in the Tollens Valley, Germany. Their wounds and numbers were horrifying. At the 10% mark of the investigation, 130 skeletons were already dug out of the marshy soil. Archaeologists realized that they were standing on an epic battlefield. Thousands took up arms, and the slain changed the story about Europe's Bronze Age men. Most researchers favored the idea that they were peaceful and focused on trading. However, this battle unearthed professional fighters and warfare on a scale never before seen in the area. The Tollens skeletons may have been the earliest example of direct conflict between warriors with weapons. The deadly confrontation probably sparked when both sides wanted control of the river's bridge, where the fighting started. Number two, doll graveyard and swamp. It's one of the golden rules of list videos about creepy things. You have to mention dolls. We all know dolls are just the most inherently creepy things on the planet. Imagine just how terrified you'd be if when wading through the mud of a swamp, you found not just one abandoned doll, but an entire graveyard of the terrifying things. Well, believe it or not, that happened. The Autauga Sheriff's Office removed 21 dolls from a local swamp Tuesday morning, but officials feel the motive in placing them there is more mischievous than sinister. The dolls were atop bamboo stakes and had been placed in Bear Creek Swamp, close to County Road 3, the dirt road that travels through the wetland. The swamp is located between Prattville and Autogaville. The majority of the dolls are porcelain and have the appearance of antiques. Many had the faces and hair covered in what looks like white spray paint. I noticed the dolls several weeks ago while driving through the swamp working on a stolen vehicle report, said Chief Deputy Joe Sedinger. I just thought they were a Halloween prank and really didn't give it much thought after that. That was until Monday night, when social media blew up about the dolls and the office got wind of the concerns. So on Tuesday morning, deputies got in a canoe, paddled around 30 minutes and recovered the dolls. I admit it looked kind of creepy, Sedinger said with a laugh, as the dolls were being inventoried back at the courthouse. You could see them from the road. We figured it was best to get them up. Bear Creek Swamp is a massive bog with a bit of a reputation locally. As a rite of passage, generations of teenagers have entered the area at night looking for creatures and haints said to roam the mist-covered realm, and it's not unusual to hear reports of loud booms coming from its depths. That reputation is likely the reason why the courthouse was abuzz about the doll discovery. Number 1. Shijar Idol The Shijar Sculpture, or Shijar Idol, is the oldest known wooden sculpture in the world, made during the Mesolithic period, shortly after the end of the last Ice Age. The wood it was carved from is approximately 11,500 years old, it is displayed in the Sverdlovsk Regional Museum of Local Lore in Yekaterinburg, Russia. And of course, it wouldn't be on this list unless it had been found in the depths of a disgusting, wretched swamp. The sculpture was discovered on January 24, 1894, at a depth of 4 meters, 13 feet, in the peat bog of Shigar, on the eastern slope of the Middle Urals, approximately 100 kilometers, 62 miles from Yekaterinburg. Investigations in this area had begun 40 years earlier, 
After the discovery of a variety of prehistoric objects in an open-air gold mine, it was extracted in 10 parts. Professor D. I. Lobanov combined the main fragments to reconstitute a sculpture 2.8 meters high. It is thought that the sculpture depicts some kind of forest spirit, and if that is to be believed, I would have some pretty serious concerns about disturbing it. Maybe yanking it out of its resting place and locking it away in a museum wasn't the wisest decision. It kind of feels like the beginning of a horror film if you ask me. Which one of these swamp discoveries unsettled you the most? And if you had an opportunity to taste bog butter, would you? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen now. See you next time!